Hey guys, did you know Russia is a place? I apparently didn't know that. Uh, I made a big giant whiff in today's video, um, which happens. I tend to do that. I, that's that's kind of part of my charm. I can't do the sparkle thing like I did in today's video. No, in today's video, I was talking about if you haven't seen it, it's, it's talking about ULA, the United Launch Alliance, and they have a couple of different rocket programs that go all the way back to the very beginning of the United States uh, space program. So it was a little bit of a history lesson, a little bit of uh, going back in time, uh, talking about the Delta and the Atlas rockets. Well, the Atlas rockets were actually used in some of the first manned missions for the Mercury program back in like the early 60s. And... Of course, the most famous of those was the one uh, was John Glenn, the Friendship 7 mission where John Glenn actually orbited the Earth. There were two in front of him. There was uh, Alan Shepard in the, um, <coughs> excuse me, went up in the Redstone rocket. And, oh, what was the other one? That was uh, Scott Carpenter, I believe, was the, the second one. Uh, so there were two suborbital missions for the United States, followed by the first orbital mission with John Glenn. And so when I was talking about that today, I said something about, I said John Glenn, and I said the very first person to orbit the Earth. Well, of course, of course, that is absolutely wrong. Um, I, w I was, you know, it was a total misstatement. I, uh, uh, I meant to say first American to go into space. You know, a lot of times with these lines, I kind of just kind of have to get them out. I'm kind of, uh, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Improving a little bit, you know, like I have the line and I just try to get the line out and sometimes those little details Drop right out of my brain and uh, of course the very first person who ever uh, Orbited space and the very first person in space was Yuri Gagarin from the Soviet Union and uh, I thought I would do just a little quick video to talk about Yuri Gagarin um, I would not be doing a whole video on the channel about it, although it's, he's definitely worthy of a video. It's just I don't really go into history that much on my channel, on the main channel. But, um, you know, uh, we, we got to give the Russians credit, or the Soviet Union at the time credit. When, when they went out to do the space thing at the beginning, they went all freaking out, you know. We had three launches to get to the first orbital mission, and they did it the very first one. The very first time they put a human being on a rocket they put him all the way around the earth and that was your yuri gagarin and so um <clears throat> still clearing my throat every five minutes uh so yuri gagarin yeah this happened on uh where is it april 12th 1961 that was when he uh did his orbital mission i think uh alan shepard was very soon after that it was like maybe um i don't have it in front of me but it was very soon like within a month or something like that but still they beat us russia beat us um but, uh, no, he did that on April 12, 1961. It was like a full year before John Glenn went up. Um, and, in fact, there was a second uh, Russian, uh, Titov, I believe his last name was, who went up before John Glenn did. So, so they had two orbital missions before the United States got into orbit once. So good on them. Um, something that I had forgotten, I, I, kinda, I knew this, but I kind of forgotten about it, but uh, Yuri Gagarin died very young. He died at 34 years old from uh, a plane crash. He was test, uh, test flying a, a MiG spacecraft, or spacecraft, a MiG-15 training jet he was flying in, and it crashed, and, and he died super young. But, um, you know, incredibly impressive guy. This isn't going to be like a whole biography about him or anything, but, um, you know, he, he got started in the space program uh, in 1960. There were uh, six people that were first picked, and they were called the Sochi Six, um, oh, German Titov, that was the second guy that went up. But his, his flight was on a Vostok 1, that was what it was called, um, from the Balkanor Cosmodrome. I believe their uh, training program now is actually named after him. So, uh, anyway, I'm not going to go and do the whole uh, biography of, of uh, Yuri Gagarin, but the guy um, deserves the credit that he gets and, uh, oh, and by the way, I wanted to give a little bit of thanks to uh, especially Martin Cabrera, a Patreon supporter, who got into the comments and really tried to defend me <laughs> against some of the hate that I was getting. Um, Jake, leave it alone. I'm trying to record a video. He has no bounds for doing that. Um, he's, he's playing with a toy, but it's a very crunchy toy. And he's going to do it right here. Because why do you do it in the other room when you can do it right here when I'm recording? Now I'm going to get hate from dog lovers. Awesome. Um, 
No, but Martin got in the comments and he was he was trying to defend me, and I do appreciate it. But he was uh, in one of the comments. He said uh, he actually did say American. If you go back and look at it, um, unfortunately for you, Martin, and for me, you're wrong. I didn't say it. In fact, here's exactly what I said. Let me pump up the volume here. Atlas rockets flew some of the very first manned missions to space, including John Glenn, the very first man to go into orbit in 1962. The very first man to go into orbit in 1962. That is a total misstatement, and it was wrong. And there you go. And here's the irony of this. Because I got some comments that were people were like, oh, you're so America-centric, of course you don't believe in, you know, like basically accusing me of being America-centric and not uh, giving the Russians their proper due or whatever. Ironically, I went to great pains in this video to only use the metric system because anytime I use anything that's not the metric system, someone flips out at me every single time. And I've finally gotten to where I'm just like, you know what, fine, I'm just gonna use metric. Uh, a lot of times it's, it's not that I care one way or another, it's just laziness. Like if I look up something online and it says they went up 20,000 feet, I, you know, I, do I wanna sit there, okay, what is it in meters for the people who are getting, you know, I don't, you know. I'm just being lazy, basically. So I'm, I'm like making sure as I talk about these rockets and I talk about how much they can weigh, I'm talking kilograms, and I did this, put extra effort into doing that. And so, of course, I misstate American astronaut and instead just said astronaut, and now people are accusing me of being America-centric well, on a video when I tried especially hard to not do that. And in fact, I actually got a guy from America who was pissed off at me for not using Imperial units. So there's no winning. There's no winning. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, just wanted to put this out there. Of course, I know who Yuri Gagarin is. Of course, I know he was the first one up there. And someday soon, uh, you know, I'm doing all these different space agencies and private and governmental and everything. Uh, I will be doing Roscosmos at some point. And I'll be, you know, that the, the, I think the reason why I'm putting off doing Rose Cosmos is like, that's a big story, <laughs> you know? Um, I mean, it's, that would, that's how many episodes would it take to tell the full story of, of Rose Cosmos and the Russian Space Agency? Uh, they've done so much and they were from the very beginning pioneers and, and I would want to cover them correctly, but I will do it eventually because it needs to be told. They're a huge part of not just space history, but space present. And some of the innovations and things that they've done along the way are, are amazing and they deserve the credit. I'm sure they're not crying that I haven't, that little YouTuber me has not done a video on them yet, but um, I, will, I will cover that eventually. But anyway, just wanted to put this out there. This is today's video, this TMI channel, not the regular channel. Um, if you are new here, don't know what's going on, it's a channel where I just get on here and I talk and I don't edit and I don't script. I just talk right out of my butt. And if you like that, you can subscribe. If not, you can not subscribe. I'll be just fine. Anyway, I um, hope you guys are doing well. I got to go save this toy that my dog is now shredding to pieces because he can't just play with something he must destroy. Hope you guys are having a great week so far and I'll catch you next time. Bye.